In this video, we're going to create a new point label style and assign it to the existing points inside of the drawing. To do this, it's very similar to creating our new point marker style and assigning it to our existing points. What we have to do is we have to navigate over to the tool space window and to the settings tab. Inside of the settings tab, we're gonna drop down the points section and we're gonna drop down label styles. Inside of label styles, what you can do is you can right click on the folder for label styles and create a new one. Uh, you can also edit existing label styles by right clicking and choosing edit, or you can copy a existing label style and create a new label style based on that old existing label style. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to create a new label style based off of the point number and description label style. So I'm gonna right click on point and description and I'm gonna create copy. When I do that, a label style composer window opens up for point number and description copy. I'm going to delete off the text that says copy and I'm gonna add in a new description of saying point number raw description full description. If you may remember, we uh, have points in here that have a raw description of calc and a full description of survey search calc. And so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna jump over into the general tab. In the general tab, you have information for your text style, what type of text you wanna have in it, the label visibility and the label layer. You also have your orientation of the label based on object view or world coordinate system and a forced insertion of none top or bottom. You also have your plan readability, which changes how the text is displayed based on the rotation of your point and label. Uh, what we're going to do is navigate over into the layout tab and you'll see that we have a drop down here for the components of the label we have a point number and a point description component uh, we're going to go ahead and drop down over here and create a new text line you can also create lines and blocks as part of labels uh, we're going to go ahead and create new text uh, we're going to change the name of that text to raw description and we're going to anchor that component to the point number and we're going to anchor it to the bottom left of that component. What we have to do now is jump over to our point description and we're going to change it to full description so that it coordinates with what our contents are, which is full description. We're also going to modify the anchor component and change it from point number to raw description so that the text for our full description falls below our raw description text. We're gonna jump back to raw description and we're gonna change the contents of that label. We're gonna erase out label text by highlighting and backspacing and we're gonna drop down and you have all these choices for how you wanna have label content for your point label style. You can have point number easting, northing, point elevation, name, raw description, which is what we want. Full description, grid easting, grid northing, longitude, latitude, scale factor, convergence, and survey point. So we're going to go ahead and select raw description, and you can choose how you want the capitalization to be done for that. You can choose preserve case, uppercase, lowercase, or title caps. I'm going to preserve the case because we did it as all caps. And then to port that label over into the content of your text, you have to hit the arrow, and it will bring over a code for what the text is going to display on your new label. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And you can see here now we have to adjust where our attachment is. We have it attached at the middle center of our label. We want it to be the top left of our label. And so now you can see we have our point number, what is our raw description, and then we have our full description. So other options that you can have is you can change your text height, your rotation angle of your text, you can change your X and Y offsets from your attachment point. You can change line weights, colors, and then you can choose border visibility. So you can choose your visibility is true or false for a border, what type of border, whether you want that border to be background mask, what the gap is around that border, what color it's gonna be, and what line type and what line weight it's gonna be. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the drag state. This is all information on if we took that label and we did a drag state like we did in this bottom corner here. And we're going to go ahead and leave this blank. We'll just leave it as the, the default. But if you wanted to, you could change any of these components. And then from summary, you have all of the summary of the previous tabs. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. 
and hit OK. Now, inside of our label style, in the settings tab of our tool space window, you'll see that we have a point number, raw description, full description label style. To apply that, we can do it the way that we possibly might have done it by editing points and forcing the point label style. But as we did when we forced the marker style, we have a description key set for our calc points. So we're going to go ahead and go to description key sets, essentials, edit those keys. We're going to go to our calc and we're going to go to our point label style and we're going to choose point raw description, full description and select OK and close the panorama window, navigate back to Prospector, right click on points. We're going to select, we're going to right click, and then we are going to apply description keys. Now, when we zoom in on this point, you'll notice that our label style now shows our point number, our raw description, and our full description.